Hi, my name is David Dozi, Auto Destructive Instructor, and uh, in this video I want to show you what's new inside of Mainline Pro 2.0. So uh, there is a huge uh, change log about these new versions, as you can see here. But uh, I think the most important things is uh, finally Mainline Pro can work with uh, uh, another configuration. So you can uh, uh, install over another configuration. Of course, I want to make uh, a, a video about that. So when you show you the, the new the new folder file and folder structure and how to merge to, to, to the, your existing configuration with my Pro, but um, I think this is very very important thing. So finally, I can I can do, I do that. I, I find a way to do that and uh, and is absolutely incredible. So very good. Um, another thing is of course the uh, compatibility of the new functionality of my name of my 2018 so this is great so a new, a new element so now an Pro support uh, my 2017 update 4 and uh, 2018 yeah it's great and I think this is great too um, another things I have changed I have so had some uh, interesting I think so I think so scripts uh, for example I have uh, had the how to have the script I want to show you immediately how it's work for example if you create uh, a new uh, a gear. This is a gear. Is in one of new of new primitives of my 2018, and um, you can press Z and the left mouse button. You can now have the auto bevel. What auto bevel do? Um, it's analyze the the uh, angle of the of the edge and try to make uh, the bevel only only where it uh, it needed. So, for example, this is a flatten angle so there is no need to have uh, any kind of bevel and you can see here it can do a very great job uh, to make bevel around uh, only the corner that really need it so I think it's a very great great new tools uh, of course I have made some update for example thanks to uh, Andrei Menshikov I have uh, the, the new MMT key to uh, 1.2 that uh, uh, give me the ability to make some changes to some area inside of Mainline Pro, for example, the new UV editor. Now UV editor have more granularity workflow, uh, contextual workflow, uh, compared to the, the previous versions, and it's very, very interesting. Com uh, very, very interesting. I, I changed some. Uh, um, I changed some. I changed some preferences. Sometime about the, the last version, uh, and sometime in general. So you can have a little bit more change about that. For example, I have expanded the uh, the, the the status line, so you can have uh, status line maximized with all every functionality of those line open and, and the other things you can just see of course very important is the removing of the tabs of the of the of the workspace or workspace tab and why I, I do that because I want I, I come back uh, uh, to the layout so if I press alt and 2 for example you can see I have uh, my viewport and my and my node editor layout so in this case I have uh, revert back to to all the all the all the old version of uh, Mainline Pro, so 1.0, for example, work like this, and uh, I think this is more fast in some way, and can uh, I can can removing a, a bug instead of OS 10, uh, OS 10 uh, uh, workspace. So I think this is a great uh, way to work. Another thing I've changed: there is no more the hyper shade. Uh, this because I want to try to make everything uh, streamlined inside of the of main UI. So, for example, if I select this element Z, middle mouse button, go under ren, sorry, go under rendering and edit shader. You can see now I have the shader directly inside of uh, you know, the editor and the output editor open in the in the right area of the UI. So, I think so. This is more fast and uh, and and, s and seamless with Maya uh, and. Uh, now there is no more uh, hypershade layout inside of Mainline Pro. So if you want using a uh, hypershade, you can use, uh, of course, but you need to open up manually from here. So so is uh, just uh, a little point. So as you can see, there is no more uh, com customization of uh, of uh, of this uh, of this editor. So I think so it's very very way is a m more fast way to interact with Maya itself. Another thing I've changed, 
course there is a very very little uh, very little uh, update of course I have an update to improve the mesh support UV support uh, I have improved mo some market menu uh, of course layout I working a lot about the the performance of market menu to make on the slow system market menu more reactive um, there's a new shining workflow as you can see before uh, I'm removing our right. That's very important. I decided to removing every third-party plugin and scripts. Uh, uh, it is because uh, uh, I want to make the project more personal. So I want. I do not want to have a, a, a long list of uh, of uh, other person uh, um, elements. Another thing I've changed. I'm removing support to soap because soap is becoming. Um, um, commercial production, so I don't want to continue to distribute it. Uh, so, so it's, it's a better, better decision. So everything you see inside of MM Pro now is made by me or by Andre that make the MM2 key. So it, it is very important for the project. All right. Um, of course, I have fixed a lot of things. Uh, color cleaning. Uh, yes, there is a lot, a lot of uh, polish uh, cleaning code. Uh, I review a lot of, of scripts. Uh, I try to remove every bug I found, and uh, I think this is very, 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 very good release. I think so. So I hope so. I think so. I have to tell you everything about the new version. Um, of course, and so there is. Uh, of course, you can you can read by yourself the, the change work. So, I hope you find uh, everything interesting. I hope you find uh, my name pro useful. If you want download, the you can download from the link below and like.